Welcome back to The Gadget Show. It's time for our Versus Challenge, where Otis and Amy are gearing up for a soapy showdown. Washing the car is a brilliant subject for a soul classic. The car wash. But for most of us, it's a bit of a chore. And like all chores, the quicker you get it over and done with, the better. So we wanted to find out if the latest high-speed, high-tech car cleaning gadgetry could let us clean up faster than two pros. Stuart and Mark are car cleaning kings of the highest order. Mark, Stuart, you're aware of what we're doing today, yeah? Absolutely. OK, five cars each. Whoever finishes first wins. What kind of cars are you used to cleaning? Um, normally better than this. Ferraris, Rolls Royces. Lamborghinis. Really? Right. Yeah. OK. How long does it roughly take you per car? For the base level service, you'd be looking about an hour and a half to two hours per car. We won wow, this. OK. This is in the bag. <laughs> we're like a pair of whippets. Do you fancy chances? Yeah, I oh, think we'll be all right. We, we have got a lot of stuff that's going to help us. We've got experience. Experience. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Fighting talk from the experts. It was game on. We'd each have to wash, dry and vacuum five cars. And while Stuart and Mark usually wash high-end motors, they were setting up surprisingly low-tech kit. But we didn't need buckets because we'd lined up three gadgety pressure washers. First up, the Karcher. It's got a special hose attachment system to prevent kinks and okay. it's got a water-cooled motor for longer life. Well, I brought along this Vax. It produces the same 130 bar of pressure as the Karcher, but for less than half the price. And our piece de resistance was the Clark Jet 9000. With 200 bar of pressure, dirt will be shaking in its boots. Look at that! Oh, go, go! Our tech was ready. Mark and Stuart's buckets were full. So we signalled the start of the challenge with the most intimidating air horn we could find. Oh. The first job for all of us was to get the soap on. The pros were using the centuries-old method of bucket and sponge. Not us, though. I love it! Because the Vax and Karcher pressure washers come with detergent applicators. Oh, that's satisfying! This allowed us to set up five cars in quick succession. Not bad at all. Our plan was to wash all of the cars, then dry them all and finish with a mass vacuum off. Check that out, how quick it is. The pros were completely cleaning one car at a time and had such steely stares we could tell they were worried. With all our cars soaped up, we needed a super speedy rub down to stay ahead. So we unleashed our microfiber madness in Credimits. The synthetic gliding fibers in these gadgety mittens takes dirt away from the paint surface, ensuring a scratch-free finish. The mitts were clearly better than a big yellow sponge from the pound shop, and we were starting to streak ahead. We'd soaked up and rubbed down all five of our cars, while the pros, despite working like silent assassins, had only finished their first. Check this out! Next, we needed to rinse. And this was where things turned nasty. Cheers. Yeah, you want... Oh, you... Sabotage! It's not called gold, there! Our jet washers were rattling the opposition, but little did we know the potent Clark Jet 9000 that promised so much was about to cause us a problem of its own. I'm losing pressure. And this time, it wasn't sabotage. That's gone. And it goes soft, and it goes soft. Rubbish. Nevertheless, we were confident that we could still claim a victory over Chris and Stewart, even though the sabotage and dodgy pressure had eaten into our lead. We'd now rinsed all five while they'd finished two whole cars. Next up, drying. Meet the MetroVac Master Blaster and its more portable sidekick, the Sidekick. The dryers were a lot of fun, but no matter how powerful, they worked frustratingly slowly, wafting the water around rather than away. I mean, Amy, look, it's all right, but look at the length of lead I've got. There's nothing on it. Yeah, that's short. 
Mark and Stuart were now onto car number three. We needed a plan B. Okay, you can laugh, but a lot of people use leaf blowers to drive their cars. But beware, never fire up the machine when it's on the ground, otherwise you could spit grit at your valuable motor. Even that massive blower was slower than Mark and Stewart's old tech cloths, so if you can't beat them, join them. We just needed a snappily titled drying mitt to make up our lost time. I've got something very special. Go on. I've got the Dodo Juice, the Dodo Juice, Super Nash. The Dodo Juice, Supernatural, Wookie, Supernatural, Wookie, Fist Wash, Wookie, Fist Wash mitts. Yeah, the Dodo Juice Supernatural, Supernatural Wookie Fist Wash mitts. mitts. Yes! The soft lamb's wool mitt finished off the paintwork perfectly. Yes! Yeah! Get it in, look at that! Ooh, lovely! Buffing it up nice! No! <sighs> They're on their last car. The pros now only had one complete car to clean, while we had five to vacuum. But we weren't worried, because we'd got the creme de la creme of minivacs. The Black & Decker Dust Buster Flexi, the G-Tech Multi, and the Dyson DC58 Animal. OK, on, get in there. It was going to be tight, but we hoped the G-Tech Multi and the Dyson Animal would suck us to victory. And look, hey, so you don't have to put the whole unit in, you can just shove an arm in there. We were working flat out because not only were we racing the pros, but also the battery life of our VAX. Nice. Okay, I'm done on that. You ready, Otis? Come on, we've got one more car. Quick! On its max setting, the Dyson is incredibly powerful, but there's a downside. Oh, it's dead. So I sprinted for our backup machine. We've got the dust buster to finish it off. Come on, little dust buster. Come on, little thing. We were nearly there. Oh, oh no. no, they finished. I don't even want to turn around. <laughs> All right, smug faces. Look how long they've been there for. Drat. We'd lost to a couple of top-notch car cleaners, to be fair. Well done. Well done, fellas. Very good, Thank very you. good. Props to them on closer inspection of our handiwork. Come on for the shoes, yep. sir. Go no, ahead. No, We're no, yeah. Even they admitted our tech had done a decent job in a short space of time. That's yeah. not too bad. Passable. Well, almost all of it. Good shine yeah. to it, this one. Oh, look, it's just got a bit of fluff on it's just, there. It's just fluff on there. It's a job for another day. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you're contemplating a soapy rub down this coming Sunday, there's no doubt that car cleaning gadgets can save you time. But if you want it done properly, better call in the pros. So, that's your lot for this one.